Yeah, bars and restaurants aren't the only small businesses in trouble. The call for social distancing has many of us staying at home, not visiting our favorite stores. Stores like the Southern Swag Farmhouse in Archdale. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of Easter decor. This boutique offers everything from home decor to clothing. Its owner, Jennifer McGee, admits she's stressing out over her business, but says she's not giving up hope. I love to look at it in my shop every day, and it's just a good reminder. You know what, Jen? Pray more and worry less. Yeah. Words to live by for the former dental hygienist who opened up her own business two years ago and expanded it last year. Now suddenly a pandemic threatens to end her dream of owning her own business. We're going on our third day now of noticing just a very steep decline in customers coming through our front door. Southern Swag is trying to develop its online business with free shipping to customers. The store's only employee says she's not worried about her job. I'm not really concerned about me. I'm just more concerned about how, you know, our small business is going to work out. Alyssa Yates is a high school senior, worried about missing the big moments of her final year at Wheatmore. It is concerning. You know, I want to go to prom and graduate and not have to get it, you know, graduate virtually. But it is concerning and it makes me sad. Her boss says she doesn't know how long she'll be able to keep the boutique open. My mind is racing, I'm sure, like every other small business owner. Jennifer McGee says with dentists closing down because of the virus, she doesn't have a plan B. For now, it's more prayer and less worry. I'm praying a lot more, um, and I just feel like in the end, everything is going to be okay. There's help on the way for small businesses. The federal government is making disaster loans, low interest disaster loans available to any company suffering losses as a result of COVID-19. Governor Cooper says more help is needed. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.